Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, some of them unexpected. Um, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are members of my YouTube channel that share their bolos with all of us to help us learn. Um, you're going to find some really, really cool bolos here. So let's get started. I'm going to tell you where they got it. <gasps> what they paid for it, and what it sold for. The first item comes from The Quiet Thrifter, and she sneaks up on us with these bolos. She is definitely a bolo finder. She has an incredible store. Definitely go and uh, check out her store down below. All of the channels, uh, the YouTube channels, and the eBay stores will be linked down in the description of this video. All right, so the first item she sold are these Rudolph and the Island Misfit toys. I think I've sold these before. Um, this is inc an incredible find. Anything with the Misfits and the Rudolph, I always pick that stuff up. It's usually a bolo. Uh, she did put cake toppers in the title. That's a good thing to do. She got this for $5 at a thrift store. It took a best offer of $92 plus shipping. The next item is this hand-blown amethyst art glass triple gourd. Gourd? guard. I don't know what that word is. Genie bottle. It's a decanter. Um, it's beautiful. She got this at a thrift store for $5 and it sold on auction for $146.50 plus shipping. She has an eye for like lamps and breakables. Definitely check out her store. This one here is a rare Kent Gutsmer folk art primitive pull, pull toy horse. It's carved it's double signed. It's it's amazing. Uh, she got this at an antique store. She did pay up for it, $125, but she knew it was a bolo, and she took a best offer of $350 for that, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item comes from Leo's Treasures, and here is her store. Lots of Christmas items. If you guys are looking for Christmas items, go check out her store. All right, look at those. Those are so cool. Oh my goodness, they're like a wedge. Uh, I think, are those vintage? Those are cool. Somebody's going to snag those up. Those are sweet. Okay. We have this Avatar, the last airbender throw or uh, tapestry. And she got this for $4.95 at a thrift store and sold it for $45.96 plus shipping. She also sells on Etsy. She is Leo's Treasure Emporium over there. And I thought this one was really cool. These are back plates and drawer pulls. And she got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and sold them on Etsy for $47.75 plus shipping. The next item she also sold on Etsy, it's an applause Harley Davidson Harley Hog Biker doll. It's plush. It looks like its face is like rubber or something. But anyway, it's new old stock. She got this at a thrift store for $7 and sold it for $68.95 plus shipping. This one comes from Cheryl Shining Squirrel. Cheryl Shiny Squirrel, sorry. Um, and she's got lots of great stuff in her store also. Uh, so definitely check her out. And we are gonna check out her bolos. She has this necklace here. It's cobalt uh, blue glass beads. It's really, really stunning. And she got this for a quarter at a garage sale and she sold it for, ah, I forgot to write it down. I apologize. Uh, she took a best offer. I'm not sure what for, but, um, ooh, I love it on the black background. How pretty is that? But yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty. Sorry, I don't know the sold price. The next item is this uh, vintage Sony uh, digital shower. It's like a shower radio. And she got this for $2 out of a, a lot of stuff. And she sold this for $54.99 plus shipping. The next item, I love this one. They are vintage Playtex expandable nurser baby bottles. So these are like, I think, yeah, they're definitely vintage. Uh, she got them free from an antique store. I think they she was buying stuff and they just threw them in and she sold these for $49.99 plus shipping. If you don't know, these are definitely a bolo. Um, baby bottles, be on the lookout for sure. Grinning Grandma check her out. She um, has an awesome YouTube channel. She has 18 
booths, 18 booths. I mean, that doesn't even seem feasible to me. Um, I would be going crazy trying to fill those booths all the time, but she must do a fantastic job with it. Um, she's starting to get more on social media and eBay and stuff like that. So sub her up and see what she's got. All right. She sold this American Factors portable sugar cane sample display case, said Honolulu. And she told me how to say it. I think it's Hilo, uh, but I forget. So she even told me like, you say it like this. And I forgot. Sorry if I said it wrong. Um, let's see. What did she? Oh, yeah. Hilo. I wrote it down. This was in her money pile. She said it's been sitting in her money pile and she sold it for $120 plus shipping. The next item is this um, Canon camera. It's a SureShot 85 Zoom Platinum 35 millimeter camera. Again, I skipped the cameras and man, they can be a bolo. She got this at an estate clean out. Uh, so basically just labor and she sold it for $57.80 plus shipping. This here is a cookie Santa jar and it's by Spode. It's unused. She says it's in mint condition. She got this at an estate buyout. She has pennies in it. Took a best offer of $42.50. Uh, Spode can definitely be a brand that does well. So if you see it, looks like that, definitely look it up. Some of it's bread and butter, some of it's big money. Timeless by Tiffany. And there, here is her eBay store. Um, not showing very much. You'll have to go in and click um, see all. And let's see what she sold. She sold this estate France design bird in domed glass cage, vintage thermometer from the 1920s. I would have thought that this would have been worth way more money than what she got for it. I think this is super cool. Um, she got this for $3 at an estate sale and sold it for $55 plus shipping. This next item is a woven circular wall hanging, Aztec Native American, large. It says Kachina. Um, so I think, yeah, just a wall hanging. She got this for a dollar at a thrift store, put it up for auction, and it sold for $60 plus shipping. The next item is this Japanese porcelain Amari decorative plate hand painted. She got this at an antique shop. She paid $17 for it, and it sold for $98. And I don't see any markings on it. So um, I don't know how she figured it out. Maybe Google Lens. I like it when there's markings, something that helps me look things up. All right. The next one comes from It's All Goods 94. She is over on Whatnot. So go follow her on Whatnot. Also, that is her, uh, her name for Whatnot as well. You can also follow me down below on Whatnot. I have not done my first show yet, but I hope to be doing it soon. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over there. If you use my link down below, it is a referral link and you will get a $10 credit to shop if you use that link. So um, check it out. And if you're already on Whatnot, just click on that link and it'll take you over to my Bolo Buddies and you can follow me and then you can go follow It's All Goods also. She sold these Care Bear um, limited edition tumblers and I love how she put the white paper so that you can actually see the graphic. That is such a great tip. Oh my goodness, what a great tip, you guys. Um, because it's going to show you if there's any imperfections in the bears. And in this case, it's showing you like the quality and how good the paint job is on this. So great idea. Uh, bought these at the Goodwill for 50 and sold it for $159 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this vintage, uh, actually, I don't know if it's vintage. It's a Scrabble Deluxe 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition uh, Gold Turntable. Goodwill, $5 and sold it for $64.99 plus shipping. So it's a Scrabble game. This next item is a Tinkerbell Disney Peter Pan Neverland Music Box. You can fly. Let's see if we can see another photo here. How cute is that? Super cute. Uh, garage sale, five bucks and took a best offer of 147 plus shipping. The next item comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm and she has not put out anything new lately, but I do think she is going to do the Goodwill Bins bingo challenge. So stay tuned for that and make sure you're subscribed to her channel. She has a nonprofit where they have, I think, over 500 animals that they take care of. So anything you purchase from her eBay store goes towards that nonprofit and the link is down in the description. Here is her store. She has great stuff. Any Anywhere from bread and butter to big money. Um, a lot of the items are donated, but she also buys stuff at local auctions to resell. 
And let's see what she sold here. She sold this um, Berkeley. It's a limited edition hand signed dogs. It's a poster. And she got this from a resale shop for $3 and sold it for $75 plus shipping. This is a Thrive Life Consolidator Pantry Plus Complete. It's in cabinet organizer and she got it from a friend. So it was free. Sold it for $70 plus shipping. The next item here is from Yard Sales and Dreams. If you are not following her channel, you have got to go check out this video right here because it's incredible. Uh, let's see. She sold this. These vintage Gem and the Hologram Misfits doll shoes. 37 matching pairs from the 1980s. Uh, full tote she uh, got of these things for, I think she paid four bucks. I don't know if she paid four bucks for the full tote or if it came to about $4 for these, but she got it at a garage sale. I want to say it was four bucks for the full, full tote. These sold for $265, you guys. How incredible is that? The next item is this vintage um, Aurora Thunderjet Mustang convertible slot car. Uh, auction style, sold for $350 plus shipping. She got these at an estate pickup two years ago and they've just been sitting and she finally listed them. Here is the other one. And this one sold for $395. It's a Mustang, a 500 Mustang hardtop slot cars. They can definitely be a bolo. Uh, cost of goods, a dollar to a piece. Abigail's Artful Abode. This is her YouTube channel. She has a really um, different style of YouTube channel. You guys will really like her. Um, she does a lot of glass and breakables and unique items that I have a tendency to stay away from. And she's just incredible. Definitely go subscribe to her channel. She sold this vintage dusky ballet pink satin and peach chiffon fabric. So this is just fabric. She got this for $4 at a yard sale and sold it for $58 plus shipping. The next item is this, uh, I don't know how to say it. It's a flute with a case. I'm not sure what the brand is. She got this at a garage sale for $10 and sold it for $135 plus shipping. This haunted house, it is a buyer's choice, traditions, lighted haunted Halloween house. I've not heard of that uh, brand, buyer's choice. And it sold for, it looks like it was up for auction at 163 and somebody swooped in and made her an offer of 188 and she took it. So again, eBay is going to tell you what the original auction was, not if there's a best offer, what it sold for, unfortunately. She paid $7.99 for this at a thrift store. The next item here is one that is not a big money bolo, but it's just, uh, she said she saw something in one of my videos and that's why she picked this up. It's a vintage 1980s Vanish Crystal Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Um, it's vintage advertising, essentially. It's pretty cool. She got this at an estate sale for a buck and sold it for $30 plus shipping. I just love that we can all learn from each other. I mean, seriously, like these videos, everyone is helping everyone get educated on what to look for. There's enough out there for all of us. So thank you to everyone that shares and watches. Butterfly Hustles. Let's see what she sold. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely go sub her up. Let's get her to 2,000 subscribers. And she sold. Okay, I love these, you guys, because this Y2K stuff is like trending big time right now. This is just a Y2K Abercrombie and Fitch Shepra fur-lined. Is it Shepra or Shepra? I don't know. I say it wrong. Fur-lined hoodie. It's a Abercrombie sweatshirt. It sold for, not, um, I'm sorry, best offer of $85. She got this at the Benz. So um, cost of goods was not much because it's the Benz. It's by weight. This is an IZOD leather bomber jacket. Uh, it's a leather jacket. She got it from a friend. Uh, I'm sorry, free from family. Sold it for $89.42. And the next item is another Y2K express leather jacket. Uh, she is really good at identifying which items are from the 90s, uh, or I'm sorry, not the 90s. Y2K would be, that'd be 2000, right? The year 2000? I don't know. Anyway, she got it free from a family member and sold it for $48 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. So these Y2K items, that is a great keyword to put in your title. These are items to definitely be on the lookout, especially right now. These items are trending. Is there something on my shirt? 
there's a piece of fuzz or something on my shirt. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, which one was your favorite bolo? I'm trying to remember. I've done three or four or five videos in a row here. So I can't even remember what I just talked to you about the Y2K. I think those are cool. Um, it's not something I could try to stay away from clothing, but, um, definitely something to be on the lookout. I think I'm going to go with yard sales and dreams. Uh, the three bolos she had those slot cars. I mean, number one, they were big money and those, uh, the little doll shoes. I don't know. I may have parted them out though. I think, um, I really want to know what they would go for individually. So if um, my reseller treasure, if Brandy, if you're watching, let me know what you think those little shoes would have went for individually. Um, my uh, reseller treasure, Brandy, specializes in Barbie and dolls and stuff like that. And she is super knowledgeable. If you have not subscribed to her channel, you've got to go check her out. She um, She's incredible. So um, I usually hit her up when I find Barbie stuff and I'm like, hey. Um, and she's great. So sub up Brandy and um, my reseller treasure. I'll link it down below. And I will link everyone else down below also with their eBay stores and their YouTube channels if they have one. And thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.